Right guys, uh, today I'm going to check how these pair of shoes perform on court, that court over there. This is the well-known Dame 5. Um, this one is a Lahim colorway. So it's got this, if you can see, Lahim. There's also the Lahim riding on the back. All the shoes on the heel area. Uh, this is mainly a black and white colorway with some cool gold accent uh, and also the Damien Lillard signature here. Right? This is really cool shoe. Okay, uh, translucent rubber. Well, actually, it's a rather low top shoes, but. Uh, because of this color textile, uh, this performs like a mid uh, mid top shoes. All right, let's see how it how it performs. Okay, shoes are on, laces are all tied up, ready to go. Right guys, back with me, and this time, it's a team time. You know what time it is. All right guys, this time, it's a Dame 5, okay? The colorway that I have with me is the Lahim colorway. It's uh, mostly a black, white, gold combination. It's pretty dope. Check out the next slide. For the traction, the shoes utilize the already proven pattern. Of course, guys, the herringbone. If it's not broken, don't fix it. This is a really good proven pattern because uh, with the herringbone, you can really uh, get multi-directional movement. And everything, every movement, every angle, you'll get a nice bite to the core. And it's also proven here, though the upsole is a translucent one, but it's really good. The traction is really, really good. But I haven't tried in the indoor court. Uh, on the outdoor court, it's really damn good. And that's for the cushioning. 
you've got the full length bounce. Bounce is a good cushioning system from Adidas. And this is really good. You got both court feel and also impact protection. Um, the the shoes really hug your foot, so um, it's safe. You know, you've got a good amount of impact protection. But I do notice that there's some dead space on the toe box area. So for those of you who have long foot, probably you get more benefit out of it than you won't have so much dead space. But for me, it's a huge dead space on the toe box area. Material-wise, the colorway that I have has this, uh, I think, on the front uh, part of the shoes it's a pretty much sweat and uh, on the heel area it's a leather like material I don't know what that is but uh, I don't think it's really leather uh, material for this colorway you've got that premium touch where you cannot find it in the earlier colorways which just uh, mostly textile um, mass textile on the on the uh, front area of the shoes. As for the support, it's pretty much related to the fit as well, other than the cushioning system. So, uh, and the padded co collar. Uh, I think uh, from heel to midfoot, you got your foot really supported, but on the forefoot. Um, especially on the toe box area if you have um, not so long foot then you would have that space on the on that toe box area just that but it's still supported as long as you get your uh, midfoot locked down that forefoot of you uh, would not uh, move a lot so overall the shoes really great I can tell you the Dame 5 is really great for that amount of money. It's uh, probably around 115, if I'm not mistaken, 115 dollars. It's the same price range with the PG, PG2 that I've already reviewed before. Um, for that amount of price, you'll get good support, good impact protection, um, nice fit, premium look. What else? expect this could be the best budget shoes of 2019 it's not really budget shoes because it's, this one is the like the premium line of Dame there is other budget line of Dame like Dame Dollar or um, Dame Brooklyn but this one is the like the premium uh, premium line of the, the of the Dame signature shoes so for signature shoes, this is really great. Probably a bit better than PG2, I would say. I like this better than a PG2 because these shoes uh, provide more impact protection rather than a PG2. All right, that's it for the day five. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again on my next videos. Ciao.